All right. Um, hello, everyone. It is Elder Reyes, and I am your real estate technology coach. I am also CEO and co-founder of RE Digital, the number one real estate digital marketing agency on the planet. Um, but today's video, I am super excited about. YouTube is making changes to its algorithm. So um, these changes are actually pretty cool for a lot of you realtors and brokers who are just starting your channel. So definitely stay tuned. You're going to want to watch this video. It's some really good information. I'm going to keep it quick and to the point. So check it out. All right, everyone, it is me, Elder Reyes. I am your real estate technology coach. I am also CEO and co-founder of RE Digital, the number one real estate digital marketing agency on the planet, producing the best real estate websites anyone could ever want from a real estate digital marketing perspective. But today's video I'm super excited about because it talks about a topic that I keep having all my real estate agents and brokers do, which is start doing more videos specifically on YouTube. YouTube has actually updated some of the rules, um, has updated its algorithm. So um, it's pretty exciting for you real estate agents and brokers because it, it's actually giving you guys an opportunity to actually do a video and get it showcased to people who are looking for your services on the internet, right? So that's what I'll be talking about today. This is in a sense is your YouTube September 2022 update, right? So you're definitely going to want to pay attention. But before I get into the video, quick background on me. If this is the first video you're watching, um, like I mentioned earlier, my name is Elder. Um, my company that I own um, is called RE Digital. We are the number one real estate digital marketing um, agency here on the planet. Um, I myself have been in the real estate digital marketing space for over 15 years. In that time frame, I've worked with over 4,000 real estate agents and brokers. Um, on top of that, during that time frame, I've worked for companies like Zillow and Realtor.com and White Lopo and Inside Real Estate, Luxury Presence, iHouse Web, H&H &H Real Estate Media. Um, I also have clients of mine that are using platforms like Chime, Sierra Interactive, um, Boomtown, Commission Z, Follow Up Balls, Real Geeks, um, what else? Um, Z57, um, just... Uh, top producer. Uh, so pretty much anything and everything that's out there in regards to real estate digital marketing, I've either tinkered with it or I have one of my clients using it. I don't know anyone who's been in the real estate digital marketing space as long as I have. So you're definitely going to want to pay attention to this video because everything that I say is pretty much something that you should apply to your business, right? So um, on top of everything I just said, I'm also a Google certified developer. So I am very well versed in search engine optimization. Um, also very well versed in YouTube and its algorithm, online classifieds, CRMs, social media marketing, Google business pages. Um, so pretty much anything that you want to do online when it comes to your real estate business, I can definitely help you out with, right? But enough about that. Oh, really quick. If you do want to get a hold of me and you do need help with your, with your real estate digital marketing or your real estate online marketing, you can go to my website, redigitalco.com redigitalco.com or you can call me directly 530-760-7827 530-760-7827 or you can send me an email at elder that's e-l-d-e-r at redigitalco.com that's redigitalco.com okay so enough about that okay so um, if you guys have not seen any one of my other videos um you guys uh, might not know that I'm always recommending that real estate agents and brokers definitely start marketing on YouTube, right? Because first and foremost, YouTube is owned by Google. We all know that Google controls the internet in a sense when it comes to, to generating leads, generating business, right? Um, and whenever Google owns something, right, you definitely, definitely want to learn about it from a marketing standpoint. Um, and the really cool part about YouTube is that it is, depending on who you talk to, the second most used search engine in the history of the internet, right? So if Google's first, YouTube is second, right? So 
there's tons of people i'm sorry tons of people that are going onto youtube specifically looking for information specifically looking for information about real estate and even if they're not going to youtube and they're going to google and doing searches for information about real estate and the markets that you guys are covering your youtube video because google owns youtube has the ability to get showcased right and here's even the best part about youtube is that like i keep telling you guys there's like 2.8 million real estate agents out there, right? Every one of them has some type of web presence, meaning every one of them has a website, but less than 12% of actual realtors and brokers are using YouTube properly, right? So if you just think about it, it's the second most used search engine in the history of the internet. First is Google, then you have YouTube, and less than 12% of actual agents are using YouTube properly. So there's a huge, huge opportunity if you are a real estate agent or broker to start shooting videos and just generate tons of tons of business using YouTube, right? And what's even better now, and that's what I wanted to talk to about today, is that YouTube has actually updated its algorithm and its rules and policies to where it's making it even easier now for you to start a YouTube channel and actually get traffic to the channel, get people looking at your videos that actually lead to transactions, right? And what do I mean by that? So a few years ago, if I would have talked to you, I would have said, look, Go ahead and build your YouTube channel. Start doing, you know, two to three videos a week if you can. And just start showing your channel to everyone that you can because you need to get your subscribers as high as you possibly can, right? Everyone always wanted to get, at first it was 100 subscribers because that's when they would give you the actual URL. And then they wanted you to get to 1,000 subscribers because that's like the magic number that YouTube said once you got there, it would start showcasing your video to people that were looking for your services on YouTube, right? So the whole goal a couple years ago was just to get as many subscribers as you possibly could get, right? Because what would happen is, you would upload your video to YouTube and then YouTube would push your video out specifically to your subscribers, right? So if you only had a couple hundred subscribers, only a couple hundred people were going to actually have your video showcased to them. But if you had like millions of subscribers, millions of people would actually be seeing your video, right? Makes sense. But that has actually changed. YouTube has updated a lot of stuff when it comes to YouTube from its algorithm to the studio in the back end where you're, where you, it gives you a lot of little cool tools to do some really cool stuff with your videos in terms of like hashtags and keywords and stuff like that. But one of the really big changes it recently made was now YouTube is focused on what's called CTR, right? And AVD. Now I know it's getting really techy, right? CTR and AVD. I know you guys are sitting here going, Elder, what the heck is that? And why do I care? Because here's what happens now. Well, let me back up. What CTR stands for is click to click through rate. And what AVD stands for is average view duration, right? So what those two little techie words or techie little phrases mean is if you do a video, how many people are actually clicking on it? That's super important. But also not only how, much, how many people are actually clicking on your video, how much of your video are they actually watching, right? So like, for example, if you do a video and somebody clicks on it and they start watching it and after a couple of minutes or let's just say a couple of seconds, they leave it, that actually hurts you, right? In the eyes of YouTube. The reason is, is because your video is not providing information. It's not providing content that somebody actually found interesting. Remember, YouTube is just like Google where YouTube is trying to show people videos that actually gives them the information that they're looking for, right? So that's why this whole move to like them really, really taking into account the click-through rate and the average view duration of their videos is super cool because what this means now is anybody right now can go and load up a video on YouTube and if they get a bunch of clicks or a bunch of people click on it, but on top of that, the people that click on it actually watch the whole thing, meaning they found it interesting. YouTube will start showcasing it to people who may be interested in that video. Let me give you an example, right? So let's just say your YouTube channel has a thousand subscribers. 
back in the day, right before this new update, you would do a video, you would load it on YouTube, and then it would send it to those thousand subscribers, right? If they clicked it, if they watched it, whatever, right? Your a thousand subscribers would get it, right? However, but nowadays it's a little bit different. Nowadays, the way YouTube does it, right, is if you have a thousand subscribers, right, and you load up a video, it's going to send it to just a hundred of them, right? Like about 10%. Now, out of those 100 people that it sends your video to, it's going to see how many of them click on it. But then most importantly, it's also going to see how many of them actually watch the entire video. Right. So let's just say, for example, you have a thousand subscribers. It says it to 100 people. Right. Twenty five click on it and only one watches the whole thing. Your video in the eyes of YouTube is, for lack of better words, crap. And it's not going to show it to anyone who may be interested in the services that your video is talking about or doing a search for what your video is talking about. Right. However, Let's just say you have a thousand subscribers and it sends it to a hundred people on your subscriber list, right? And all a hundred click on it and like 80 of them watch the whole thing. Not only will YouTube send it to your thousand subscribers, right? Really market it to them. But on top of it, on top of that, YouTube's going to take your video and actually showcase it to people that may be interested in your video. So it's going to organically start sending these your video to people who may be interested in what you're talking about, right? It's super huge because before, the way you would have to do it is you would start your channel and then you would have to just start waiting on your subscriber list to build up, right? And until you got to a certain amount of subscribers, no one would ever see your videos, right? It was very, very hard to market on YouTube. Now, with this change, anybody can go ahead, start a YouTube channel, load up a video, right? And if the people that click on it and view it watch almost the whole thing, YouTube will say, okay, this video obviously has some good information because the people that are watching it are finding it useful. Let me start showing it to people that this may be helpful to or that may be interested in what this video is talking about, right? So a great example would be this. Let's just say your, your channel only had 100 subscribers, right? And so if you have 100 subscribers, YouTube's going to send it to like 10 people. Now, if all 10 of those people click on it and watch the entire video, it's going to go ahead and start showcasing that, right, in the little list of videos to people that may be interested. So nowadays, you can have somebody who has like 10,000 subscribers, right, but they put a video and it's crap because the, the average view duration is super low, right, and it's not going to get as many views as a video might that is on a channel that has less subscribers. So my point is the amount of subscribers your channel has anymore does not carry the weight it did once before. And it's super cool because what that means to you as a real estate agent or broker is that you can literally start a channel today right? Load up a video, whether you're talking about your market, whether you're talking about a property you just sold, whether you're talking about properties that just got reduced in your area, whether you're talking about loan programs, whether you're just talking about real estate in general, you can load up that video. And if you only have a few subscribers, who cares? Because they're going to see your video. If they click on it and watch the whole thing, YouTube is going to start showing it to people that they believe, according to the algorithm, may be interested in that video. It's super huge because that means that these new channels now have the ability to really gain traction and start growing, right? It's an awesome update for all these people who are just starting out channels, guys. So what does that mean to you as a real estate agent? If you've been hesitant to start a YouTube channel because before you probably started one and you could only get maybe 50, 100 subscribers and out of those 50, 100 subscribers, maybe only a few people were watching it because you had to build that list, right? Because, and and, and it's just, it's, it's, it was harder to do before because like I said, building up subscriber list takes time. I don't care 
who you are unless you're like some big time celebrity, right? The average individual, the average small business is not going to be able to get a million subscribers their first week underneath that old model, right? Because it would takes a long time to build that subscriber list. So a lot of YouTube gurus, a lot of YouTube coaches would always call YouTube like the long game, right? They would say, start your channel, start loading up videos and just keep trucking along, keep building up your subscribers. Um, and then eventually people will start seeing your video. It'll start going viral, all that good stuff, right? However, that is no longer the case, guys. In today's YouTube world, you can start a channel today and two weeks from now, you can have like a million subscribers or most importantly, you can have a million views if the people who see your video originally click on it, watch the whole thing, Google will check it out and then it'll start showcasing it to people who may be interested in your services. And it's, it's just a super cool thing that just is going on. Um, so that's why I'm, I'm trying to just really pump you guys up and tell you if you're not on YouTube, now is the time. If you're not shooting videos, now is the time because these smaller channels or what they call these newer channels definitely have the ability to get showcased. And what that means, they're going to start showing them the people who are doing these searches, who are looking for services. And think about it in the real estate vertical or in the real estate digital marketing space, less than 12% of realtors right now are even doing YouTube properly. And what do I mean per properly? One of those, one of those kind of variables is, is called posting at least three videos a week. So there's only less than 12% of real estate agents right now are doing at least three videos a week. So imagine right now you could start a channel, start doing three videos a week, 90 days from now, you would probably be in that top 12%, right? 15 tops, right? And then you'd be generating business from YouTube. And what's the best part about YouTube is that it's free. Like I keep telling you guys right now, you can shoot your video. Everyone can see it. It doesn't cost you a thing, right? You can load up as many videos as you want. There's tons and tons of courses out there on how to, how to really take advantage of YouTube here at RE Digital, my company, my real estate digital marketing agency. We have an amazing YouTube program. Um, I have a really cool 90 day challenge that I put all my realtors and brokers on. And if they follow my program at 90 days, every one of them are getting transactions. It's insane. Uh, but at the end of the day with this new update with some of the changes that Google that I'm sorry that YouTube is making you as a realtor can start a new channel and start generating business start generating followers ASAP right like I even it was funny when I was preparing to do this video I actually came upon something I'll show you it's pretty cool and I even wrote it down because this is something you would never see before right so back in the day if you were going to do a YouTube channel right you would have had to do, and I'm going to go to YouTube now. And this, is, this isn't going to be a real estate related video, but just just shows you the power of these new channels, right? So I'm going to go to, um, and it's funny, just doing some research, I came upon her stuff and I started digging around a little bit, but okay, this is, this is a lady by the name of Janelle. Uh, I just know her first name is Janelle, right? So, but what's really cool is, look it, she has two point. 2 million, over 2 million subscribers, right? Right here on her YouTube channel. But look how cool this is. Her actual YouTube channel has only been on for about five months. Back in the old days, this would have never happened. Any type of YouTube channel to reach this type of subscriber list, this kind of type of sub subscriber count, it would have took, it would have took at least a few years. And what's crazy about this lady is, I don't even know what the, the channel's about, but all I can tell you is in her first couple of weeks, she did three videos, right? In the first three weeks, that's it. Three videos in the first three weeks and she got over 1.3 million subscribers, guys, right? Why am I showing you this, this, this channel? No, it's not real estate related, but it's showing you that these new channels that are coming onto YouTube 
do have the ability to grow quickly. And what happens when you grow quickly, that's how you generate business, right? When you start getting people coming to your channel over and over. That young lady right there started a YouTube channel within three weeks, had 1.3 million subscribers. Now, obviously, that's kind of like a little unicorn right there. It's not going to happen to any of us. But what if that was, what if you got 10% of that, right? What if you got five percent of that would you be happy of course of course you would i myself am a great example of that i only have a couple hundred subscribers on my youtube channel but i get my my videos get viewed by thousands and thousands of people all the time why it's because of certain people find my videos interesting right they go ahead and click on them they watch the entire video which thank you so much for doing that but then they start getting it showcased all over the place it's kind of funny sometimes I'll be doing searches in an incognito type of YouTube search and then I'll see my video being showcased to me based on some of the searches I'm doing which I think is is pretty cool guys so bottom line start doing YouTube the algorithm has opened up the doors for you go out there start shooting your videos um i'm telling you take advantage of this free platform because like i keep telling everybody i think one day you guys are gonna have to pay for stuff that you're getting for free now on youtube so definitely take advantage of it now so i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you guys found it helpful um if for one reason or another you guys need help with your youtube program need some coaching need your videos optimized just need some direction on where to go you can definitely reach out to us at re digital like i said the website is re digital digitalco.com redigitalco.com um, my direct line or the way to get a hold of me is 530-760-7827 530-760-7827 um, you can also send me an email elder e-l-d-e-r at redigitalco.com okay so until next time thank you so much for watching my video i hope you watch the whole thing because it'll help me as far as get more views to it um also go ahead and hit that subscribe button um and then give me some comments right what you like about the video what you didn't like about the video did you like my son's cute football pictures in the back did you like the bears football helmet in the back did you like the fact that i'm wearing my chicago Bears shirt was my voice a little too raspy was it not raspy enough right so just leave some comments subscribe to my channel once again thank you for all your support and if there's anything you need from a real, real estate digital marketing perspective please don't be afraid to reach out until next time thank you so much have a wonderful day bye-bye